how to update local branch with origin master and in case of conflicts for uncommitted changes we will see how to resolve it either by stashing them or by committing them so for that let's first switch to branch b1 So we have successfully switched to branch B1. So asterisk shows that uh, we are in branch B1. Even in IntelliJ at the bottom uh, rightmost corner, you will see that you are in which branch. So it says that B1 branch. So currently we are in branch B1. Okay, now let's make some changes in this particular branch. So we have made some changes. So let's assume that we are working in this branch from last two, three days and we have some, some uncommitted changes. And now we want to update our branch with origin master. So for that, let's first fetch origin master. So the command is git fetch origin space master. So we have fetched the origin uh, master branch and let's merge the origin master, master branch to current uh, branch b1. Git merge origin master. So now you see that git is not allowing us to merge this uh, origin master branch to local branch because someone has already updated this calculation file if you see if you see look lo your local changes to the following file would be overridden by merge so this particular file has been already updated by someone so now git is also suggesting us that please commit your changes or stash them before you merge so git is suggesting us either we should stash them or we should commit them so let us first see the technique of stashing the changes and after that merging it and then we will see the commit uh, process so let's see git stash as soon as you perform execute this particular command all the uncommitted uh, changes will copy to stash so the important thing over here is that git stash so it will only stash the changes which are in the tracked file for untracked file there is a command git stash space hyphen u for un to uh, stash the untracked changes so now let's see where are changes git stash list so our changes are saved in at index 0 in a stash with this ha particular hash code okay now let's try to merge with origin master so we have merged the origin master if you see the changes came from the origin master now let's un stash the changes so for that get a stash pop the command so as soon as we perform git stash pop it is saying that there is a merge conflict so this is the merge conflict appears this is the merge conflict appear so now let's resolve these conflict so either we can manually go and delete all this this stuffs because we know what changes are there or let's use some IntelliJ tool 
so when you do a right click go to get it will say that resolve conflict now let's click on this now here you will see accept yours accept there and merge so let's click on the merge option so now here we see the three panels in which first it's saying your version so as soon as we have merged the origin master changes this was the change uh, appears this was the change came from the origin master and these are the changes coming from the uh, stash and this will be the resultant file so now let's uh, copy the changes so if you want to ignore you can click on cross and if you want to accept you click on double arrow same applies over here same applies over here so all changes have been processed you can save and finish the merging so either you can click over here or you can click on apply so let's click on apply so now these are the changes which came from the now we have successfully merged and resolve the conflict so now get status so this is the file and uh, let's add the changes because this is we, we should add it after merge and after that let's commit our changes commit a message implemented so we have committed our changes and now if you want to push your changes you can push the changes get push p1 so now you have successfully pushed your changes Now you can create a pull request and you can ask for merge also. Now let's switch to branch B2 and let's uh, do the other uh, uh, technique by committing first committing our changes. Okay, check out branch b2 so now we are successfully switched to branch b2 even over here you can see that we are on branch b2 now let's make some changes over here again For example, I have made some device changes. So again, we will update our branch p2 with origin master branch so for that first we let's fetch the origin master branch master so we have fetched the now again let's uh, let's try to merge with it with origin master
so this is not a git is not allowing us to merge changes because calculation file has some changes already uh, our calculation file is was not updated so either we should first commit our changes or stash them so let's commit our changes So we have successfully committed our changes maybe in git log you can see that we have just added the we have uh, committed this changes now let's merge with origin master so it is now we are facing a conflict so the, this is the conflict which we are coming uh, coming from the master so let's resolve the conflict get resolve conflict merge so now here it says that changes from branch b2 and these are the changes from master and this will be the result in a stash case we were seeing it was saying that changes from server that was from the stash and these uh, these are the changes from b2 in in here it is saying it, there it was saying that your changes so let's accept the changes accept the changes accept the changes and save it so you have seen it because you have uh, accept the merge so that's why you need to again commit these changes git commit so it's saying that merge remote track the uh, uh, tracking branch origin if you want to update this message you can update it otherwise you can uh, simply uh, merge the changes Now you have successfully merged the remote branch origin master to branch B2 if you see. Okay. Now again let's push our changes. So this is the second technique way by which uh, you can uh, merge the origin master branch update your local branch maybe you can write So this is how we should update our local branch with origin master branch and in case of conflict we can resolve it either by stashing them or by committing them. So this is all from this demo. Thanks.